As a manager, I have to review all of the expense report forms that my employees submit. Previously, I reviewed these forms using Microsoft Office InfoPath. However, recently our team started using Microsoft Office Outlook 2007 to submit and review InfoPath email forms. This enables us to use Outlook as a portal for managing information and our business data. It's also easier to review certain types of data using InfoPath email forms. Let me show you why, using these expense report forms that I just received from three of my employees who recently attended a conference. I can quickly and easily identify InfoPath email forms in my inbox because all forms use the same icon. Our expense report form is designed to use property promotion. That's a feature that enables an InfoPath email form to display form data in a folder view in Outlook 2007. The first time I open an InfoPath email form that supports property promotion and then close it, I'm prompted to create a new folder to store related forms. If I choose to click Create Form Folder, the active InfoPath email form moves there automatically. I can then drag the other InfoPath email forms to the folder or create a rule to move them automatically when they arrive in my inbox. This way, I can store all of the same types of forms together. This helps me manage these similar forms easily. Even though I'm not ready to review and approve these expense report forms individually, the fact that this form uses property promotion allows me to quickly see certain information, such as the total amount of money each member of my team spent at the conference and whether they use the correct expense codes. For example, I see in the folder view that Bob spent a total of $1,134.43 at the conference, but that he used a different expense code than Judy or Nate. I'll look into this later. When I double-click the form, I can see that the expense code and other information is reflected in the form. When I look at Bob's form, I see that he accidentally entered the wrong expense code. Since I know the correct code, I can change that for him and then save the changes. See how the expense code is updated in the folder view? In addition, I can sort the InfoPath email forms in the Forms folder view by clicking a column heading like Employee Name or Total Expenses. I have a question for Bob about his total expenses, so I'm going to add a flag to follow up with him later. I can also perform other actions with these forms. For example, I can export them to Microsoft Office Excel 2007, merge them into a single form that I can review in InfoPath, or export them as individual forms that I can review in InfoPath. Now that you've seen how InfoPath email forms can help you use Outlook 2007 as a tool for managing business data, try using them in your organization.